All right, good morning, y'all. Um, it's your girl, L Hot. I'm back off in the place to be this morning. Just came to let you guys know um, that I love you. Love you, love you, love you. Sending nothing but positive vibes out to you guys. Because, you know, sometimes you need people to tell you that. Um, and speaking of that, that's what the subject is on this morning. Um, I have lost um, a lot of family members. Everyone knows that I don't stay in Texas. I'm in between San Diego and Arizona. Um, just making moves, you know, um, as a young adult. I, um, I, in my line of business, I see like a lot of people, um, and it's really sad, you know, um, I work with special needs. Um, I work with, um, adults with disabilities, uh, which is, uh, my part-time job that I do, um, counseling, um, behavioral health services. That's all I'm going to go. <laughs> I'm not going to have you guys looking up my, my profession. Like how much does she make? <laughs> anyway, back to it guys. Yeah. Um, um, it really just brought this to my attention, how we really need to tell people, um, in our lives that we love them because we, we never know when they're going to go. Like, you know, I see more people getting more flowers dead than alive. Like, I think that is so whack when you have the people right there in front of you, you know, every day. And I know that everybody has their own lives, you know, their own things that they do. But dang, you know, you can tell a person that um, you love them or, hey, you remember this time when we did this or, you know, just tell a person how special they are um, instead of you putting a person down and judging a person because they're not handling a situation exactly like you, you know, um, really doesn't leave anybody any room because, um, I was told when I was younger, cause I used to always say what I wouldn't do and how I wouldn't do something. And my mom just used to always tell me to keep living. And, um, man, I've managed to, and, and was blessed to keep living but um, in the time of me keeping living, like I've I've seen a lot, and I've seen um, the time where I where I said I wasn't gonna do something, and I've done it, and I've had to do it, and I've had to stand by it. So, yeah, I mean, just uh, working with people of such, just wanting me to bring this message out because I know that you know it's hard when you can't recollect with family, or you really just don't feel like. Um, someone cares about you enough to, to do anything, even if it's just taking out the trash or washing dishes. I bet half of you have never, you know, um, volunteered any time to help anybody, you know, and even before, um, even before everything, I was always volunteering. I was always putting out, putting my services and stuff out there. I believe you know, what you put into the universe is what you get back. And um, I'm in my profession mainly because I I love people. Like, I love to help people work out their problems. I love to, you know, to make, um, help make plans, you know, um, for these people's lives. Like, it, 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 you know, it gives me a joy. So I know that I'm in the right profession doing what I'm doing. And I guess that's the reason why I'm sharing this with you guys, because, y'all, we need to start handing out a little bit more love. You know, um, I'm just noticing, like, for my generation and everything, how really if uh, well, no, I'm not going to say my generation, but the generation up under me, because <laughs> I know that mine's is really fucked up. I know that the guys within my realm and in my generation are not so, you know, what they're cracked up to be. Half of the people is steady um, chasing a life that, you know, they had when they were in school and um, in high school and kids and, you know, women, you know, half of the dudes are not even trying to, you know, give their self the, the plane to make a family um, to um, to do anything productive. Like it's like people don't understand that we have this one life to live and we only have a certain time to do it. 
Like if you think about it, let's just just think about what I'm saying. Okay, from the time that we make it out of school, right? Okay, we get in school probably like around seven, six, seven. Um, and we make it out probably, probably what, 16, 17 when you're graduating high school. Okay, in between the time of, of, of six and 17, you know, count those years in between. Now you count the time from when you become 17 and 30 or 17 and 25, 17 and 28. You have to look at that. Even once you reach 30, that's half. You know what I'm saying? That's two, that's two thirties. So that's 60 years. You know what I'm saying? And even when you turn 50, you know that that's half of a hundred. You know what I'm saying? Like we don't have freaking time to be out here playing around and taking everybody for granted and, you know, uh, just, you know, settling, settling and leveling for these lower vibrations, you know, passing them out to everybody instead of uplifting one another. I'm so tired of the, the, the pettiness between the women, you know, everybody want to judge somebody, look at what they got on, look at how they got on, uh, fashion over this, um, Instagram hottie, this and all that shit. I, the way I look at it, I was hot before Instagram and I was hot before YouTube. So I don't need any of these sites nor their clothes to make me hot. Now I'm, they make me pop because I choose to put on an outfit or I choose to wear some makeup. But even without all that, I'm still me. And I'm still giving out love and I'm still giving out, passing out higher love and higher vibrations to people. So the moral of the story is, guys, learn how to uplift each other, man. Like life is really, really short. Like it's really, really short, too short for the competition, too short for the bullshit. You know what I mean? Like it's just too short. So, you know, um, yeah, I'm going to ask that. During some time today, you just walk up to somebody and be like, man, oh, sure are some nice shoes or or you have an awesome personality or man, you sure did make my day or, you know, even if you don't know what to say, find something nice because it's basically set in a trend, you know. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I'm um hiking while I'm doing this damn thing. Hope you, hopefully you guys don't hear me running out of breath. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to pass those words to you. Um, like I said, passing out nothing and giving out nothing but positive vibes. Once again, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. If no one has told you. And I talk to you guys soon. I'm like getting gnats and everything in my mouth. I guess that's giving me um, <laughs> my cue to shut the hell up. And I would do so. All right, guys. I talk to you soon after I'm all showered up and stuff. Um, hi. Hello. How you doing? See, guys? I'm starting it off already. All right. Peace and love.